I want to talk a bit about this. Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where I talk about an anime that I just love, and I'm talking today about The Venus Wars, an anime film from uh, many decades ago. Yes. And uh, this is an interesting film. Uh, it is a sci-fi film set on Venus in the future, obviously, um, where stuff happens. Um, <laughs> it is about a um, bunch of teenagers engaged in a bike race um, until suddenly they are... War. War. Yeah, war happens. Um, literally, another nation attacks and kind of takes over... Um, bad stuff happens, and um, there's a there's a whole military uh, uh, fight in the middle of this whole uh, this whole thing, um, and this becomes a sci-fi movie about living in a unoccupied um, city where you are a subjugated nation living under martial law. Um, amidst all of this kind of destruction and what it's like doing that as sort of typical teenagers. Um, what I love about this movie is how well it contrasts these two things, how there is just kind of the standard teenage stuff going on, but also, you know, curfew and soldiers on the streets and all that kind of stuff, combined with some really cool animation uh, animated sequences. Um, the character designs are by uh, Yasuhi, uh, yeah. The character designer behind Mobile Suit Gundam, whose name I can't pronounce right now, um, and who also directed the film and has directed some other animated films over time. Um, this is very much a sunrise sci-fi anime film um, made kind of in the wake of uh, of Akira uh, and that kind of a of, of big spectacle science fiction movie. Um, there is death, there is, there is, stuff happens, it's dark, it's serious, um, with occasional moments of comedy, uh, in and around it. Um, uh, it's also interesting for having this big tank standoff, um, oh, yeah. near the end of the movie, where a, it's basically a motorcycle versus a tank. Yeah. Um, it's a really, really, really neat sequence. Um, not, not a good plan. <laughs> and there's also a big sequence at the end that involves... Um, we'll see if we can see some of it here. Um, a bike race. Nope, that's not it either. Um, where is this bike race? Is it out here? Yeah. Um, they do this whole thing where they try to combine um, hand-drawn animation with... No, I'm not seeing it there. There is a whole sequence. That I do find this, this fascinating. Um, basically, these characters in these... I think they're called monopods. They're basically... Um, right. Uh, motorcycles, so armored motorcycles, like, yeah, um, racing through a canyon, and pod racing. I'm sorry, it's pod racing. Like, yeah. it really looks to me a lot like the pod racing sequence from Phantom Menace. Yeah, um, and you know, Lucas is an anime fan. It would not surprise me at all if this was just, you know, an inspiration that, that went there. Um, uh, see if we can find some stuff here. Um, this final sequence, nope, that's the end credits. Uh, there's this whole sequence at the end where they basically try to combine live action with hand-drawn animation. So they're like live action backgrounds with the um, hand-drawn characters, which don't work at all. Um, it just looks yeah. terrible. Yeah. Because um, it's actual like film of of something driving along and then like animated vehicles on top of the film of the thing, it just doesn't work. Oh. Um, it's really odd. Um, and again, I'm, I can't, I'm, I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to find it. Um, you just have all these characters that look straight out of Gundam. Yeah. Um, which is kind of, kind of funny. Is um, that Char? Pretty much. Um, <laughs> gosh. I, that's that's annoying. I really was hoping I could find a a good shot of of this stuff. But point being, um, really interesting science fiction movie set in a very kind of lived in world where you you feel um, like you understand how this world works while still feeling kind of exotic in science fiction and dealing with some interesting themes. We don't often get to see a story from the perspective of folks who are in an occupied city. Um, 
along with some you know really cool action sequences and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and builds up to a, a big rousing ending. So fun time, fun stuff, um, uh, very uh, you know, worth watching. Um, and as Captain Laser Eyes points out in the chat room, it is set in the distant year of 2003. <laughs> nice.